Yeah. What's going on, everybody? We've got a couple new listeners coming to you. There's a 36 Grady White Express swordfish slayer. They've been killing it out there. Right? Lots of big fish. Sam's here. She's going to shoot a bunch of pictures. Yacht pics. You've probably seen some of our work. Mark's up there. What year is the boat, Mark? 2007. 2007. They put a lot of money into it. They're going to do a few more things to it, too. Getting some new cushions made for it. All Garmin electronics on it. You can see right here. Triple Yamaha 300s, correct? Yes, how sir. Many, how many hours on the motors? It's a Grady White. It's a very popular. It's an express model. Got seating up here. About 770 hours. So it will be about 800 hours by the time. There you go. It goes out. So there's 770 hours now. It'll be about 800 hours when we list the boat. And uh, just want to show you the boat a little bit and what it does. It's set up for fishing. Like I said, they do a lot of sword fishing. So it's got three outlets on both sides of the boat. Right three over there. Swivel rod holders. Carbon fiber outriggers up there. Hatches back there. Bait box, fish box. Live well with two pumps. Live well with two pumps. Does the boy come with it? Yes, thank you. <laughs> First mate. <laughs> yes. That's the bait box and fish box and drink box and everything, huh? So, so the back one is the freezer and this one is the cooler. Okay, cool. And there's a brand new generator on the boat. And there's a brand new generator. Let's check it on out. Oh, we got bananas on there. Don't you know bananas are bad luck? I just use kidding. them for bait. They're good luck. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. I so he's got bananas cheese. too, just like me. I got a banana buff on right here. So, got right there and there. Hey, Little yeah, storage right live, there. Live bait. Oh. I was gonna I was gonna come up kite fishing for a couple of hours today before before everything was done and over. Before I change your uh, plans. There's even goggle eyes in there. Hopefully they don't come with the boat though, because they probably won't be alive by then. Okay. Swordfish baits in here, a little bit of everything, some drinks. Now this is a freezer mark? Yes it is. That's the freezer back there. Keep everything nice and cold. One little scratch on the top of the calam there, which had to be touched up, fixed up. There you go. Hubble plugs for your outlet right there. So they got three on each side. All swivel rod holders there. You can see that. Those are deco boxes in there. Right. Toolboxes are here. Another fire extinguisher. Another fire extinguisher here. Alright, alright. What else we got? Old thruster. LG. Electronics. Or JL Audio. Here's the inside of the boat, you guys. They got some new uh, upholstery being made up there. She got a forward bunk there. Got a dining room table here. A bunch of fish and tackle that he's gonna take off the boat, obviously. Got your bathroom in here. Shower and whatnot. A little room in here where you could sleep. You just need some new covers there. And, you know, it's a fishing boat and it's you, so obviously there's some wear and tear on it. New cushions will make it look a lot better. And uh, you can see he's serious about the sword fishing and deep driving. He's got lots of spools of braid right here and all that. Good to go. Refrigerator. So. We're gonna keep. We're gonna do a few upgrades. This boat. Mark's gonna fix it up a little bit, and uh, he's been fishing hard for four months though. And this boat will be listed soon. We're gonna go check out another Grady Weight right now, and uh, we got a couple more listings coming your way. So stay tuned. Here we go. Captain's chair, all that stuff up there. All right, Junior. Thank you. You want to be on the YouTube video? Fish. Catching fish though instead. He wants to be on the catching a big swordfish. Maybe soon. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Stans Fam channel. I'm Nick Stanzik. We've got another boat listing here. We're actually doing two today. Both are Grady Whites. This is a 33 Express. He just put a new power head on it a month ago. 250's right there. So one has I think only eight or nine hours on it. The other one has maybe a couple hundred I believe he said. But up here you got your seating right here. These fold up like this. So if you want to fold that up, little latch right here. Lock that in there. Cushion goes back on top. Back here in the back, this seat here lifts up. Folds down like that, so you got a seat right there. 
You got your battery access right here. Turn your batteries on and off. Right there, you got your fuel selection valve. There's two tanks on the boat right there. You know, this is a used boat and um, it's in good shape. Obviously every boat that is used can use some, a little bit of TLC. Let's check these hatches out. He's got the engine covers back here. This could be used as a fish box and whatnot. Little cutting boards there, you want to cut bait on them. A little another hatch right there. Motor start right up. Let's check this out over here. There you go, live ball right there. So if you want to catch live bait and put them in there, that's where they go. Let's see what we got over here. Little sink right here, some cleaning supplies. Up top, he's got some life jackets, throwable ring, more life jackets right there. Captain's chair, and these motors start right up here. You can hear that, so that's good there. Low hours, turn those off. There's a Furuno GPS right in there, I believe, nav net. Downstairs, got a bunk. Right here, and obviously there's a little wear and tear on the cushions. It's a used boat, but um, it is what it is. So Grady White, though, so it's a classic hull. Got another little bunk down in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can. There's enough light. So if you were traveling, you know, you can do that. And there is a um, there's a generator on her too, which they got to replace the battery. But there's AC and all that, so sink needs to be lifted back up in there. You can see the sink right there. So you just got to remount that. A very old TV with a VHS player built in. Little hatches right here. Paperwork. A little bit of fuel additive it looks like. Let's try, here's your breaker panel right here. So you can turn all this stuff on. Let's check the bathroom out. Got your little bathroom and shower right in here. Carl did a good job cleaning it on up. So if you're looking for a boat to get started, this is a good option. It's going to be at a reasonable price. Um, I'm not sure exactly what price we're going to list at. We'll look in the database, see what the other boats have been selling for recently that are, you know, similar year, similar shape and all that. It does have Isinglass curtains for up on the bridge. Um, a couple other curtains do need some work and maybe new zippers or new glass, but some of them are fine as well. So a little table if you want to eat lunch or dinner at right there. A little gritty white logo. Here we go. Not too shabby. I'm gonna show you some pictures as we're going through this boat here. And um, you can kind of just see what it has on it and all that stuff as well. And we got this listing going up. We got the other 36 Grady White listing going up. So we'll have a couple boats listed for sale. Walk around up there and show you a little bit more here. We got two gas tanks right there. Up top, the radar does not work. We're gonna put the antenna down though so they can put it back in the rack. There we go. Got a windlass up here for your anchor, which we're using as a dock line, so it's tied up a little funny right now, but there you go. How you doing? Good. Right, you down there? Oh yeah, another nurse shark there. Everything's in here. Nurse sharks in here, manatees, even a crocodile once in a while. So here you go. This is the boat, you guys. This one will be for sale soon, so check it on out. Old honeybee needs a new home. If you guys got a boat that you want to list for sale and you're down here in the Keys or in South Florida, let me know. Also, if you're looking to help buy a boat, I might be able to help you find a boat. So shoot me an email. I'll put my email down below with the RKH yacht that we work with, Ryan, there. Hopefully this boat will make somebody... Uh, very happy and give them a lot of memories to make, so here we go.